Julie, Taylor Royal is going to join Mayor Gene Stothert on the campaign trail after he brought home about 11 percent of primary voters. But what will this endorsement mean come the general in May? Challenger Heath Mello thinks not much. That's why my mayor is His here. ads were everywhere, criticizing Gene Stothert and what he called four years of poor leadership. Remember the restaurant tax Stothert said she'd kill? We're still paying it. But Monday, former Omaha mayoral candidate Taylor Royal changed his tune. Yeah, I think she's the right leader uh, to move Omaha forward and in alliance with me as far as my principles and philosophy. Royal's endorsement followed weeks of attack ads. That was during a political campaign, and you just have to put those things aside. Um, you know, I don't hold grudges on anyone. Now both Republicans are focused on unifying the party, especially ahead of Bernie Sanders' campaign stop for challenger Heath Mello. The most liberal politician in the country coming in to stump for him. Royal found support among President Trump voters, about 6,000 in the city primary. Ballots he hopes will go on to the mayor come May. After Monday's announcement, Heath Mello could not go on camera, but issued a statement saying, quote, no endorsement can change the fact that no mayor this century has performed as poorly as Stother did in the primary and gone on to win re-election. And if it appears Mello lacks local political support, his campaign strategist says that's just not true. We've got a great group of support. What really matters is the support we're getting at the doors as we're going out and talking to voters about Heath's positive vision for Omaha. Still, Stothert and Royal think together they can widen the margin to victory. It's important right now for the party to unite and to get out and vote because the choice is clear. Now, one source of debate, of debate still in this race for mayor is that streetcar plan. Heath Mello saying today that we need to pump the brakes on this project. Stothert is saying it should go to voters. Now, we are just about a month away from the May general election. It is on Tuesday, May 9th. Reporting live in downtown Omaha, Christina Engdahl, KUTV News Watch 7.